Coast to Coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight, your host today. And I just want to take a few more calls in overdrive. Some people have called in to talk about the police state. We were talking about Cheryl Chumley's book, Police State USA. People need to get the big picture and they need to understand the foundations of our country, the foundations of their rights. And that is that our rights are absolute. If they're not absolute, they're not rights, they're privileges. They're government granted privileges. They're suggested privileges. That's why the second amendment says shall not be infringed. The right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. They knew that it would be a gradual incremental process. And that's what we've been talking about, the difference between rights and privileges and how out of control our government is now. Let's take a couple of calls. We got Jay in Wisconsin. Jay, what did you want to say? Hi, um, I called <clears throat> first, I want to say, how are you? Thanks for taking my call. Thank you for calling. Um, um, I called because I wanted to talk about the book. Um, I had a question well more so of a comment i'm starting to see what she was what you guys were talking about throughout the book about the police state in my state with the security cameras over the highway and mm -hmm. you know they're like they're um, everywhere they're, they're everywhere and they're really present you can see them very closely they're not hidden anymore and um the news stations here are starting to talk about a lot of things that you guys are reporting now yeah um but i did want to make one comment before i hang up the phone um I had a question. Did you notice that um, on World Net Daily, Obama forfeited the Temple Mount in Jerusalem to the Pope? I haven't seen that article. I, I'm not familiar with that. Yep, it's, it's on World Net Daily. Mm. And I think a lot of what's going on with that has to do with the police state here. Well, I'll tell you, you say that everybody is talking about it in the mainstream media now. It is no longer escapable. It has become so blatant, so in your face. But I think it's also a factor of the fact that they're, it's a function of the fact that they've reached the end of their game. They really are accelerating this. They're rolling everything out. They're collapsing the borders. They're proceeding as planned. All along, they've had this time frame of about 2020 to 2025 as being a fundamental transformation. And if you go back and you look at the book by Strauss and Howe, The Fourth Turning, you'll see that there has been a pattern that about every 80 years, there's a generational cycle. As we said before, history doesn't repeat, but it rhymes, and it has a rhythm to it as well. And, you know, we see that we are coming up to a crisis, I believe, that's going to be like World War II and the Great Depression, or before that, the Civil War, or before that, the Revolutionary War. I think there's going to be a fundamental transformation of our society, and the question is, Will we understand the basis that the society was originally built on in 1776? Or are we going to allow them to set up something that is completely foreign, completely alien to the way that our founders viewed power and society and the way they put checks and balances on it? It's a very dangerous time, and we need to be very awake about this. It's just a few years away, and I believe that that's why you're seeing everything coming out and going blatantly in your face. Let's take a call from Michael in Louisiana. Michael. Yes, hello, David. Hey, how you doing? Uh, fine. I got a uh, question for you and a statement. Okay. Uh, did, did you get your Clive and uh, Bundy for President t-shirt? I haven't yet, no. Uh, you're the one who uh, uh, had that t-shirt. You were going to send it, right? Yes, I, yes, I sent it out. Uh, you should have received it by now. Uh, it, it went three day, uh, so I sent it out Friday last. Okay. You should have received it this week, but please check uh, in there and, 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 and you know, and I'll, I'll, I'll do. Fits. I'm looking I, forward I, I to it. I didn't get your size. I sent an extra large. I didn't know. That's but, fine. You know, like, That's fine. Okay. Uh, the, the statement is, as a street artist activist, I was very provocative and controversial work on the streets of New Orleans. I am a, uh, approached by of police all the time. The other day, uh, four days ago, uh, a police chief who was on vacation uh, approached me and said something that 
put chills down my spine because uh, we're running out of time and we got the we got the twilight zone right <laughs> we're gonna leave people in suspense i'll tell you what i'm on the show tomorrow i'll try to take your call then thank you michael in louisiana join us at seven central tonight 8 p.m eastern for the nightly news in the near future when you realize how fake it all is the football the basketball alert. security alert this is homeland security analysis infowars building independent